and fellow artsy, craftsy people, which is everybody, because everybody is an artist, I think. <laughs> Today we are we're going to work on some little um, embellishments, and you can use these for scrapbooking. You can use them. I think that I'm going to create a few and uh, use a pen back and, and make these into little pins to sell at the craft sale that I have coming up. But they're so much fun and it uses cereal box board and metallic tape or you can use aluminum foil or, or whatever you want. But I thought I would show you quickly how to do these. Very easy craft, very effective. It's They're a lot of fun for scrapbooking. Um, not scrapbooking, uh, journaling or scrapbooking, whichever you want to whatever you do. So this is how they look with, you know, in a, a journal type situation. Okay, y'all, thanks for joining me and here we go.
again, everybody. I was able to get my little embellishments um, completed. I'll go in a little bit so you can see them better. It turned out pretty good. I, I really like this technique. I, you can do it with aluminum foil. If you, um, you know, if you don't have paint, then you can use any kind of ink. Or um, I've even used markers on some of this. So you can kind of use whatever you have around the house. If you have a cereal box and if you have some aluminum foil and you have some raised lettering or you could even if you did not have chipboard you could just cut some letters out of a cereal box and kind of stack maybe two or three together and then you would have the same you know the the same idea as chipboard but these turned out really cool they were a lot of fun and the neat thing about this technique is it can go so many different ways. You can, you can do a lot of rubbing on, on part of your embellishment and you can make it really, really shiny. You can not crumple the metal tape and make it kind of have a very smooth look like this one with the little owl here. Um, that's the way I did this one too. I did not crumple the metal tape up, but I still did score it with my little, my handy dandy little, what is this thing called? Cutter bug. And uh, my cousin gave me this. So you can kind of score it with that if you don't have that. Then use a, a pen or a pencil or whatever you have. Very easy and fun craft. And I hope that you'll try it. And thanks a lot for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for subscribing. I'm almost to 500 subscribers. And that's pretty exciting. So <laughs> thanks a lot, y'all. I do hope you enjoyed this. And please come back soon. Thank you.